Hi guys, it's Sean here. I'm going to do a quick video for you right now talking about the new Captain America Civil War spot that just dropped on us. Some really cool new footage in this, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Now, the spot opens up. We see Bucky, he's hooked up to this machine. He's unconscious and he's covered in these little blue dots. Now, this leads me to believe that Tony's managed to capture him and he's knocked him unconscious. It looks like Stark Tech that he's got stuck to him. And Captain America's busting him out. Now, this could be what causes the conflict in the first place. Tony's gone through all this trouble to capture him and then Cap just goes and busts him straight out. That could be what causes the fisticuffs between them. Now, it's been hinted in the Winter Soldier that Bucky played a part in Tony's father's death, so maybe that could be the reason he caught him. He knows what happened, or maybe it's just because of all the stuff he caused in the Winter Soldier. We'll have to see. After that, we see Tony's got the coolest wristwatch ever made. It's like a little Iron Man hand. It's I like these little cool gadgets that he has, like the... Uh, the suit in the second one that's in the briefcase, say what you want, but that was a really cool suit, I like that, I love these little gadgets that he just wears on him at all times, I'm looking forward to seeing what else he has in this movie. And then at the end of the spot, we see the two teams together for the first time, the battle lines are drawn, it looks like they're fighting on the airport. On Cap's team we've got Captain America, Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, we've got Ant-Man, we see Ant-Man for the first time in this, and who else have we got? I feel like I'm missing someone. Bucky. Ooh, Bucky, of course. And if you look on Cap's shield, you can actually see that it's been scratched. So I'm guessing this is Black Panther. He can actually damage the shield because his suit's vibranium as well. Speaking of Black Panther, we see him on Tony Stark's team. We've got Black Panther, Tony, War Machine. We've got Vision. And we've got Black Widow. So the battle lines are drawn. We know who's on whose team now. Still no sign of Spider-Man, but I'm quite glad about that. I don't want to ruin that. I'll be really excited to see that as long as it's not like Luke Skywalker in the, uh, the Force Awakens. That would be quite a downer because everyone's really hyped up for seeing Spider-Man now. The only other thing in this film, and this spot, sorry, that I've seen is War Machine. We see the um, the clip of this where he's lying on the floor with his chest piece ripped out. But like I said, we see him at the end at the airport. I think that's going to be the big final battle. So I don't think he's going to die there. I think Bucky's just worked him over really bad. So that's where I stand on War Machine. I don't think he's going to die in this. Now, those are just my thoughts on what I've seen so far. If you've seen something that I've not, comment below because I love reading about all these you know, theories and speculations that people have. I really love it. So comment below, like this video, sub me if you like this, check out some of my other videos. I did one yesterday talking all about the Suicide Squad trailer with my friend, some uh, cool theories in there. So... Check that out. I'll see you next time. Bye.